How's it going, everybody? I'm Anthony DiCicci with On The Water. Uh, we're out here in Vineyard Sound. We're looking for some sea bass, and I got these new baits that I've been wanting to try out this spring. Uh, they're the Z-Man Dormatadors. They're basically a grub-style bait. Uh, as soon as I saw them, I knew they'd be a great teaser for sea bass. They're scented with a Procure gel, so it has that scent element to it. They're very soft and supple, and basically, uh, I like to fish sea bass with a light tackle, spinning setup like this, some Mojo Bass actually from uh, St. Croix. And I'm fishing these ball style jigs. I like to try to cull out the bigger sea bass with a little bigger bait. So basically, all these are is simple grub style baits. You can see that they are gonna have great action because they're nice and soft. These long tails, they're very stretchy. Um, it's their patented uh, last tech technology, so they really do hold up extremely well. They go on the hook real easy, and you just wanna kinda take the bait and stretch it like an elastic right over that collar. This is a uh, poison tail by Backwater Baits which I'm using for a teaser, and this is actually a Backwater Baits ball jig. Again, traditionally the same kind of setup you'd target fluke with. Given the name, Door Matadors, that's what they were developed for, but as soon as I saw them, I knew they'd be a great sea bass bait. So once you get these things on the hook, you're basically ready to fish. So essentially, we're fishing uh, 60 to 75 feet of water. And first, you want to establish your drift, which you can see with uh, the tracks here. I've been fishing this area pretty hard lately, and it's been very productive. There's been some nice fishing here. Uh, and when you have some tide like we do right now, uh, the bite's been good. So uh, first, we establish that drift by looking at our tracks so we know where to stop the boat to drift over where the fish are. And we're basically fishing a wreck in about 65 feet of water. So we're going to drop down on that and see if anybody's home. And you can see all the sea bass stacked up all around it. Sea bass are one of the best tasting fish in my opinion. Um, they're beautiful, they make for great photography. You catch really big ones in the spring on Cape Cod um, in our waters because they're uh, the biomass of, of sea bass move in here and, and breed all through Buzzards Bay and Hyannis area, Vineyard Sound. So you get some really big ones. That did not take long. <laughs> All right, well, this first drop, two nice sea bass. Mr. Sea Biscuit one. And two. A couple of willing customers right off the bat, so always a good thing. We're still on the fish, I can see, so drop it down and try to find one of those bigger not heads. The thing with sea bass is uh, you always want to keep it fun. I always like fishing really light, light gear with them. Uh, they're relatively easy fish to catch. The big ones are a lot of fun. They're great eating and um, I like to just have fun with them. So I, I, a lot of times I fish my freshwater bass stuff for them and have a ball. So when I'm fishing, when I'm fishing these, um, these setups I just like to kind of slowly move them. They're, uh, the, the trailers are very soft. If you really, you know, jig them like a crazy person, you have a chance of having the, uh, the tail of the grub bait or teaser um, hook itself on the point of the, of the hook. It's a little nicer. They're getting bigger. That's good. Oh, there we go. That was a nice one. That one feels like a little better. 